Now, you can use a smartwatch to not only control your entire house, but also monitor different types of sensors. And the best part is you can do this from anywhere in the world by using the UV Dot's IoT Cloud Platform, which connects the smartwatch to the device you want to control. Before we start this project, I want to share a few things with you because this project is a bit advanced. This is my eighth video in the smartwatch programming series. And throughout this series, I use the Core Panel ESP32 C3 1.28 inch IPS capacity of touch display. If you have already used Squareland Studio and UV Dots, then you won't have any trouble understanding this project. But if you don't know what Squareland Studio and UV Dots are, then you will need to watch my previous videos first. Because you need to know how to install the ESP32 board in the Arduino IDE, which libraries to install for the Crow Panel display, which version of the LVGL library to use with Squareline Studio, how to fix basic errors and which libraries to install for UV Dots. I've already explained all of this in my previous videos, so I won't repeat it again. Anyway, this is my setup from the previous home automation project, which focused on controlling a single load using a 5 volt SPT type relay. The build from that project is still connected to the relay, functioning as one of the primary loads. However, this time I have added a new component to enhance the system's functionality, a waterproof ultrasonic sensor, the A02YUWO. This sensor brings additional possibilities for detecting objects or measuring distances which can be integrated into various automation scenarios. Along with controlling the bulb via the relay, we will also control the onboard LED which is connected to GPIO5 on the SP32. By including the LED as a secondary load, this setup demonstrates how to manage multiple outputs simultaneously, making it an excellent example for those looking to expand their automation projects. For the relay connections, you can follow this circuit diagram and for the a 2 yuw waterproof ultrasonic sensor wiring, you can follow this circuit diagram. Now, let's first start with the Squareline Studio. How to start a new project, how to use widgets, how to change screens, how to call functions, and how to generate UI files, etc. have already been explained in part 2.
Next, I'm going to modify this code and then I'll be back. As you can see, I have already added the required libraries and made the necessary changes to the code. I have also included comments to make it easier for you to understand so you shouldn't face any problems. Let me remind you again, this project is a bit advanced. So I recommend watching my previous videos first. As you can see, I haven't added the UV dots token yet because I will get this token after creating a dashboard in UV dots IoT platform. This code will be uploaded to the smartwatch which uses the ESP32C3 controller. I also have another code for the ESP32 controller which is connected to the load and sensor. You can download these codes from my website electronicclinic.com if you want the complete project folder including the UI files, libraries and everything else. You can download it from my Patreon page. Now, let's go ahead and start with UV dots. I made this dashboard for the long distance couples project where I used two crow panel displays as smart bracelets. I used UV dots as a bridge to connect the two smart bracelets. If you also want to amaze your girlfriend, you can make her this awesome smart bracelet. Anyway, I have already explained most of the details in that video, so I will quickly move through this part. The code has been successfully uploaded. And you can see this code has also been successfully uploaded. Now let's go back to the UV dots and refresh the page. You can see the two variables, sensor one and sensor two. The sensor one variable contains the value from the ultrasonic sensor while sensor two has a random value. This is just to show you how to send multiple sensor values and store them in separate variables. Let's display these values on the gauges. Both the gauges are ready and you can already see the values. As you can see when I move my hand up or down over the ultrasonic sensor, the value changes and it's very responsive. Now we will add two buttons to control the bulb and LED. Those variables will appear once we turn both buttons on or off using the smartwatch. As you can see the load one and load two variables have also appeared. So let's go ahead and assign these variables to the buttons. Now, as you can see, our dashboard is completely ready. Not only we can control the loads and monitor the sensors through this dashboard, but we can also control the loads and monitor the sensors directly from the smartwatch.
So, that's all for now. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.